Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. So today we will help River with a case of his, although technically it is not really his case, he was not assigned to this case, but it is personal because his nephew got kidnapped probably by a serial killer question mark. <laughs> we don't actually know uh, what he did exactly. I mean, he did kidnap that one boy and that boy died and he had like the belongings of other kids in his car. So he may as well be a serial killer, <laughs> which doesn't bode well for the nephew, I suppose. But yeah, um, let's go and talk to River and see what we gotta do next. All right, what's the plan? Okay, let me hear it. I'm actually waiting for you to tell me what you have in mind now. Booted off the force, didn't tell me you got fired. Oh right, apparently he's not a policeman anymore and he didn't tell me. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it, why? I don't know. <sighs> Makes you a bit of a lead head, doesn't it? Yeah, that it do. It's just, uh, it's not easy for me to talk about what's biting in my ass. Clearly. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. I don't know. She's uh, his mother. Maybe you should tell her about it. What is it with you and keeping secrets? <laughs> Shouldn't we be looking for Harris's place? Haven't mentioned Randy's dad. Tell me more about Randy. Sure, tell me more about him. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. <laughs> there are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. I see. And what about his dad? Where's Randy's dad? Been a few years since he got popped. Gang war. Huh. Great role model. Josh was left alone with three. <laughs> but she's as tough as weathered leather. Alright, I understand. And yeah, wasn't like the idea that we find something that could trigger a dream that we can record. So maybe we should be looking at Harris's place. Gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? That's a house, and I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. Want to see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Yeah, but I mean, we're not looking for the victims, right? We just want to find something that will make him dream, so we can um, record it. But yeah, whatever. Um, do you think Yawin is going to report you? Not worried Yawin's going to toe the line. Rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. <laughs> Doubt she'd do that. Plus, not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. Yeah, I got that impression. So, you think she's going to help? I think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered. Yeah, these tiffs of ours always end up the same way. <laughs> I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sure, if you say so. Um, let's focus on finding Randy, sign me up for that beer. I mean, once this is all over, sure, why not? Sign me up. We find Randy, then we find the bottoms of a few bottles. Would be my pleasure. Hm. Also, I just got like a random quest for some reason. I don't think this is related to my current task. Whoever said no to a free car, not to mention it's a quadro turbo fucking R. So Quit picking your nose, head down to Rancho Coronados and get behind that wheel. Oh right, I remember that. Someone told me that I can pick up that car. <laughs> I never really got around to that. Okay, this can wait um, until later. Let's continue with this first. And it seems that um, we're done talking, so let's just skip the rest of this ride. All right, this is it. All right. It's sure been a while. I used to come over every weekend, a long time. 
time ago. Hmm. And changed it all since? Places like this never change. Where exactly are we, though, in relation to where we've been? Oh, okay, so it's this little compound or whatever, just outside the city. All right. Let's have a look around. <laughs> what are you Lovely doing here? Lovely neighborhood. Mwah. I don't know, Johnny. If I had a choice between this place and some of the really crappy apartments I've seen in Night City, I may actually uh, choose this over here. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. River. Well, here we go. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. Hi. Uh, so V, is this about my Randy? This is kind of awkward. Well, um, yeah, I guess I'll tell her. Randy's been taken. <laughs> Why didn't you call? Joss, I... Uh... Throw a blanket over the truth, like always. A guy who did it got caught, need to prepare for the worst. Yeah, we got the guy at Police least. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Arguing won't help. I need to look through Randy's stuff. Yeah, I mean, I told her about it because I just berated him for not telling her the truth. River. So I feel that at least I should be... Uh, forthcoming with her, but arguing won't help at the moment. Arguing's not gonna help anyone. He's my child! You got no place telling me how to behave! Joss. Fair enough. But yeah, we gotta look through his stuff, I suppose. Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. <laughs> we Randy will not destroy like anything. Randy doesn't his stuff. It's Let's just go, for the best. What, the what kids are playing about? outside. Tell them it's time to eat. Dubai, sand and death. Well, I'm going to keep that for later. Um, well, should I try to comfort her? Let's try it. Hang in there, Joss. I mean, not that it's going to mean much to her. She just met me. And why should... She listened to anything I'm saying here. Ooh. Help. I've seen that already. But yeah, let's uh, just uh, follow River and... What's on your mind? I think all the women in your life have character. Aquarium simulates the freshwater environment of the Amazon basin from the mid-21st century. It's very specific. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Uncle River! Oh, look at that. <laughs> Monique! Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your girlfriend? <laughs> Not really. Just a friend. <laughs> These are cute kids, though. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you at dinner. Well, I guess they're going to follow us now. So, um... This is their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. All right. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash. Okay, so we're just going to look around his place and see what we can find. Well, some tequila. I'm not sure if he should be drinking that. I will confiscate it, just in case. Get high at home. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> it makes a bit more sense in this place than where I originally found it, but um, I guess I'll take it again. Oh, what do we got here? Randy's antique key. Hmm, that seems important. That big glowing exclamation mark. Got some kind of key here. Is the hint. Real fossil. <laughs> Not quite what we're looking for, no. Ah, uh, I disagree. Jeez. 
can still see the nicks from those first years we measured the kids. I disagree, River. I think this key is going to be very important. Let's look at these cute drawings here. Randy and Natalie. Who is Natalie? Huh. <laughs> I mean, it looks like this drawing is already um, a few years old, unless maybe one of the, the kids made it, like Monique or Dorian. Then this might be recent. But yeah, let's keep looking around. What do we got here? A record player. Well, that's pretty antique as well. Hardware quality top grade, condition device excellent, disc scratched, owner profile audiophile, fanatic of dark music styles. This is a record player specifically made for dark music styles. Again, highly specific. And there's a guitar as well. Randy's guitar. Material made from mahogany and spruce. Date manuf manufactured 2069. Acoustic guitar. Strings are loose. Hasn't been used for a while. Okay, but I mean, all of this stuff seems kind of pricey. I mean, this audiophile top grade hardware and the mahogany guitar. It doesn't really seem to fit with the rest of this place, right? But whatever, let's keep looking around. Oh, what do we got here? No, I don't want to look in the mirror. Oh, drugs, great. Traces of chemical substances. Yep. Drugs. Let's not go there. Mm. Society's fault. <laughs> it might be. Also, do you just show up randomly to give a comment on this? Have you found anything over here? There is something inside this box that I might be able to pick up. But apparently it's just random loot. Alright, there we go. Let me take this. Okay, we got some stuff in here. Locker cabinet. Some kind of game here. Ah. Shipping code on it. I guess that's what the key was for. So can I actually like look at whatever I just picked up? I mean, that kind of seems important, but... Um, I'm not sure if I can like investigate it any further. Yep, these are the drugs that I just picked up. This is his key. But I'm not really seeing anything else of interest. Report. Okay, whatever. Let's just keep looking around. What do we got here? Oh, is this what I need the key for? I thought it was this over here. Tainted Overlord. Tainted Overlord. Oh, it's the poster. Band. You know him well. <laughs> he used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. I see. Poster. Tainted Overlord. Band. Covers. Printing ink and bodily fluids. What? <laughs> band poster. Typical items in a teenager's room. Yep. That's not unusual. Also, that is an interesting magazine over here. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I can actually open this little cabinet over here. Oh, and there's something over here. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this. You're joking. Yeah, there's a lot of expensive stuff in this place. Dear Mother Departs. Take no that. chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. Uh -huh. And we gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? 
Uh, I might be able to do that. Yep, you're in luck, because that is the one skill that I actually have maxed out already. Let me give it a shot. Okay, so it's just our standard hacking game and a pretty easy one at that. Okay, 55, 1C, 1C, BD. There we go. That wasn't difficult. Eureka. <laughs> Help me scour this, will you? All right. Um, let's have a look at it. Okay, we have messages and files. I'm going to look at all of them. Sorry. From Anthony. Oh well, is this our they guy? Call Harrison, a vehicle like that. What? Located street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. Okay, are you already talking? Because I haven't actually read this yet. So apparently, this is our guy, and I guess Brandy, <laughs> B. Randy is uh, well, Randy. I meant to call, sorry, spent half the day sitting in my Thornton. Police had all of Watson blocked off and I was stuck in traffic for hours trying to cross town. I kind of live in an area where I used to go to school, but it looks all different now. So trying to find ways past all those gems made it easy to get all turned around. Hope you're not mad. And Randy replies. Hey, no problem. I needed to help my mom anyways, etc, etc. Do you have everything ready at your place? Almost. Okay, so Randy may actually have gone to him voluntarily. Anthony invited him, apparently. Okay, well, let's keep reading. Again, from Randy to Anthony. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? I just wanted to say thanks. Guess, in general, I'm just holding on to the thought that there are more people like me out there dealing with the same shit. Why are you helping us anyways? And Anthony replies, I used to be like you, like all of you. I wasn't spared any of life's cruel twists and turns. Worst of it was when my best friend died. Okay. And Randy replies, shit, sorry to hear that. Can I ask what happened? And Anthony says, rare muscle disease. His body just got weaker and weaker until he was a shadow of himself. I wanted to help him more than anything, but there was just no possible way I could. Of course, anyone who could help, he couldn't, anyone who could help him, couldn't, he couldn't afford. If he just had the means, he could have bought some super drug or a new body or I don't know. <laughs> Worse luck than the disease was being born into a poor family. Anyway, that's wh why I do what I do. I couldn't help my best shroom, but just maybe there are some people out the world I can help. Huh, interesting. Big trouble in Haywood. Again, Anthony to Brandy. <sighs> Figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. Okay, that's the, the game found found. In his drawer. Yeah. The same. Shipping code suggests the prick sent it from the Badlands. Hey, I hope you don't mind, but I use my admin privileges to find you in real life. That is, your home address. Sorry, hope it's not too weird. But I had a good reason. There's a gift on its way. A game called Big Trouble in Haywood. You know it anyway. Hope you like it. Have fun. Randy didn't reply to it. The next message fucked up again. Again, from Randy to Anthony. This guy baited Randy like a pro. Yeah, I'm getting that impression as well. I'm talking again. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep doing it. I guess I'm just a piece of shit. And Anthony replies, You're a perfect normal person, Randy. You're just like anyone with a organic heart still beating in their chest. Remember, I'm always here to talk, to understand you, to help you. I know you recover from this like you always have. Yeah, he basically, you know, pretended to be a friend, a person that, you know, he can talk to. And at some point, apparently, Randy decided to actually go to him. That's uh, the impression that I got. Oh, well, look at that. This one is from Natalie. So I guess that drawing may be somewhat recent. 
So Natalie writes, thanks for yesterday. The city from up on that tower looked so beautiful. Honestly, I felt speechless, though maybe that's just cause I don't love heights. <laughs> really, it was nice, but maybe next time I take you into the city. Head to Japantown, grab a bite. You'll love it once you see it. And OMG, the restaurant my aunt takes me to sometimes so Nova. <laughs> just let me know. Love ya, cutie. And Randy replies, yeah, cause, I had fun too. About this restaurant, we'll see. Not sure I'll have time, hard to promise anything, so we'll see. And Natalie replies, hey, you know, you don't have to worry about Eddie's. We already talked about this. Just let yourself be invited to something nice for once. Love ya. And another one, again, <laughs> Randy and Anthony. Do you, are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Oh, fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Yeah, as I expected, Randy at some point actually went to him on his own will. Tell you what, I think your sight's really Nova. I think I'm ready to finally meet up in person. Same time and place you wrote before, cause man, I just can't wait now. Ah. <laughs> and Anthony replies, That's right, same as we agreed. It makes me happy to hear you're happy. Just one tiny request. Delete that first email I sent. Just in case. Don't want anyone sniffing around something that doesn't concern them. That first email. I mean, if he actually did, re did delete it, then I won't be finding it here. Oh, there's even more. Okay, so I guess we will keep reading. Family. Again, Anthony and Randy. I understand. I didn't have a normal family either. My mom died young and my dad, he just tried to give me a future. <laughs> Wasn't easy though to make a living on the farm once the cattle pestilence took hold. Eventually it all just fell out beneath, beneath his feet. The cattle, the business, deep depression took his life. I tell you this so you know you are not the only one who's lost a father. I understand you so well. The only real difference is it was nomads that stole your dad from you. Okay, what happened? <laughs> and for me it was corrupt cops, cops and the dirty money grabs. That's why I hide all my activity from cops. Trauma team and biotechnica would be all over me in a second if they knew what I got up to. Huh. What is he up to? But I don't have to explain all that to you, Randy. You get it. I know you'll keep all this just between us chumas. <laughs> Stay strong, buddy. I know you got it in ya. Mm. This is pretty fucked. Okay, Randy to Natalie. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? View the page Randy mentioned. Well, let's have a look at the mail first. Hey, Ned, check out the site Drugs Are Bad. When you're there, click on the image, the red one with the people in it. And Natalie replies, The hell is this? Some kind of cult? Like, how do you even find this? And Randy replies, Just cruising the net, doesn't matter. Okay, well, we gotta take a look at that site. And one more message. You are live. From Gail to Randy. Hey, man, you won't answer my texts, won't answer my holos. Still alive, man? I have a special delivery from you, for you from a Valentino Chum of mine. You just gotta pick it up. Anyone in Haywood would give both kidneys for this thing. And I'm still holding it for you free of charge like some gong. Do me a favor and answer because I'm starting to get pissed. Oh, we've never heard about this person before. Um, but uh, maybe let's take a look at the files as well. We got some stuff here. ATT card video. What in the world? <laughs> Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. Huh. Yeah, it's some weird kind of old-fashioned animation. Of a farmer slapping his cows? <laughs> what is going on here? 
Um, okay, it just seems to be repeating. I'm not sure if there's more to this than just this one kind of loop. Yeah, I think it's just all the same. It doesn't actually seem to be like an end to this video. <laughs> Alright, let's maybe take a look at the other files as well. By Glint of the Sword, Randy Kutcher. Volume 1 of the Blade of Doom tr Trilogy, Chapter 1, Ghosts of Ancestors Salvation. Oh, is this something that he wrote? The silhouette of a gaunt female figure began to take shape among the app and the inky fog. By its long braid, the woman held a severed head, only one eye socket clearly visible. <laughs> Decay had already long begun to melt the face's flesh, exposing the white of bone underneath. The other side fared much better. <laughs> then, without uttering a sound, the woman shifted her gaze to pierce the eyes of the wary warrior. Come, kill me, I am ready for death, she shouted with a cold intensity, prepared to meet her end at last. Now that's an interesting first chapter. <laughs> it seems more like something you would expect more like in the middle of a, or maybe at the end of um, a novel. But I guess he kind of fancies himself a fantasy fiction writer. Interesting. And what do we got here? Bell Barris, Genius or Psychopath. Black Metal has produced countless charismatic characters, but the uniqueness of Aiden Burroughs, known also by Monica's Nama and Balberith is perhaps in a class of its own in the genre. Vocalist, guitarist, bassist, songwriter, ideologue. Some call him a genius, others a fucking psychopath. When a person like Burroughs becomes defined by polar extremes, it's no wonder when he begins to arouse curiosity around the metal world. There's no diminishing the lasting mark he's left in black metal, but even music more broadly. Most agree he was a driving influence for a new wave of metal artists and bands like Tainted Overlord, okay, we've heard about that before, who have managed to claw their way up from the bowels of metal hell to the almost mainstream music scene. <laughs> okay, so he liked metal, he liked fantasy, all of that seems to be fairly normal for um, a teenager, but this right here, this is actually the most disturbing part um, among these files, to be honest. Um, but okay, we are supposed to look at that um, web page. <sighs> Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. Click on the image on the drugs are bad side. The quest is maybe a little bit very hand-holding at the moment. I mean, we've been told to do that. And now the quest is telling us the same thing again. But I kind of want to see what uh, is written on the page as well. Drugs are bad. Who we are, our missions, they clean, contact us. It's never too late to change. Addiction can be defeated. Yes, to fight addiction is to go to war for your life. But together, hand in hand, we can emerge victorious. We know who the enemy is, how to outsmart him, his tricks and unexpected blows. We know where he strikes, how much, his force, how much force he uses, his weak points and how to drive him back. For years we've been researching the most effective strategies to fight drug addiction. Now we're putting them in practice. Together we can change your destiny because it's never too late to change. And can I read the other parts as well? Yes, I can. Um, we are the only non-profit organization in Night City that helps drug addicts. We assist in diagnosing addictions, understanding their causes and finding the right treatment for everyone. After your treatment is complete, it's all about making sure our innovative wellness and support program does everything it can to prevent a relapse. If you're in a dark place in your life, we're offering you a helping hand. You can trust us. Our mission? We save lives. Drug overdose deaths are steadily on the rise. This is nothing less than an epidemic that is decimating our society. And young people most of all, if we continue to ignore what's right in front of us, thousands of young people will die within the next decade. We won't let this happen. We won't. We, we hope you won't either. Stay clean.
Beating addiction is the only is only the first step. For most, the real challenge is what happens after your treatment. Suddenly, you have to go back to your normal life. But normal meant using regularly. The streets being what they are, it's easy to fall back into old habits. We can help you stay clean and support you for as long as you need. You'll always be able to come to us for help. Together we'll stay clean and undefeated. And we got some address here. I mean, all of that seems fairly normal. But now let's click on that mysterious image. Well, hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ, oh, I'm gonna be sick. So that whole page is basically just, um, you know, camouflage for his secret page. Well, that's interesting. Tony's shelter. Welcome, lost stranger. Good to see you, friend. Welcome to Tony's heaven. Haven. The place you've been looking for, the place where you can become the best version of yourself, thanks to Tony. I live here with my friends. They come here because they were fed up with seeing their life go to waste, just like you. Think of me as a farmer who looks after his livestock. Get acquainted and stick around. Together we'll show those old farm farms what we are capable of. No idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'll explain everything in good time. But it's time for you to decide. Do you want to remain a shadow of yourself or become the person you always dreamed of being? Come on down. Again, it's very vague. I'm not sure what to make of this, to be honest. Join us. Um, okay, this seems to be the same. No, this is actually something different. Jesus, River, this is fucked. A guy preyed on troubled kids, made habit to target boys like Randy. This is my fault. If I just paid more attention. Just talked with him more. Hey, come on. You're not the one to blame here. Uh, yeah, I don't think he would have been willing to talk to you about this. And clearly he has been hiding his tracks pretty well here. <laughs> Introduce yourself and stick around. I know who you are. You're the boy that's been rejected by society, left to fend for himself, misunderstood by his family and deprived of real friends. I was once like you. You can stay here as long as you like because you just found your new home. I have a secret special treatment that'll not only get you back on your feet, but will also free up that weight from your mind and shoulders, make you limitless. Everything you need to bust out of your shackles. You'll find them in my haven. You'll become superhuman, resistant to sickness, strong, healthy, invincible. But before we do that, how about we get to know each other first? Shoot over a message at Anthony34. Yep, that's um, the person he has been talking to. Remember, you're one of the chosen ones. And... We got some files. Hey, there was a the file here. The name deleted, looks like, but the name's still there. That name. Wasn't the video file on Randy's Randy comp called something it. like that? Mm. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's open. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Um, I guess I can try. Get Harris's IP address. Optional. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, the video that um, he has downloaded and now it's on his computer. So apparently this guy has some kind of fetish about like um, cows. I mean, he mentioned like livestock and that he grew up on a farm. So there's certainly um, a certain motive here that, you know, comes up again and again. Anyway, um, let's see, how would I find the IP address? Do I have to exit? Okay, yeah, I can. I can get the IP address. Again, I have enough skills for that. Could try to pin Anthony's IP address. All right, so it's another little hacking game here. Um, okay, BD, 1C, 1C, E9. That should be enough. There we go. 
Got it. Afraid I can't do much more, though. Perfect. That cartoon, River, could be what we've been looking for. Said yourself we need something that'd get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. All right. And that I am a son of a bitch. <laughs> and, uh, uh, come on. Let's grab a bite. All right. Uh, I guess we looked at everything around here that is of interest. I know we're just going to follow him. Oh, hang on a second. What? What in the world? The key has reappeared. It's magical. Listen, let's not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? We're hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. Uh-huh. That's it. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound like he actually plans to kill these boys, but who knows what's going on in this guy's mind. Dorian, please. But it really tastes like boogers! Joss, <laughs> we're finished. <laughs> All done. Off to bed, then. We left some for you, Uncle River. Thanks, Monique. All right, um, uh, guess I'll sit down. Tell me you found something. Um, yep, we found a lead. Looks like Randy knew his kidnapper. They were in touch. Why would he do something like that? You know him. Kids. Look for help in the wrong places. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Have mine. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Maybe later. Now you? No bullshit. Don't look at my brother. Just tell me. <laughs> Will you find my boy? Um, sure. He's at least, like, very motivated to do it. River's a hell of an investigator. Brandy's good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if V takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Staying, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Uh, sure. I will, uh, help you until we hopefully found him. Of course I'll stay. <laughs> Find your way, all right? Yep. Gonna go hit the sack soon. Okay, but I can maybe talk a little bit to Joss first. Oh, that's the same options I had before. Yeah, it must be hard for you all alone. Can't be easy, raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. Oh, well. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month, just to not have him hang around. So he was that bad? That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead ass drunk, raging at me for calling the cops on him. <laughs> Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian <laughs> home. Well, maybe not a good place for a child. So are you relieved that he's gone? Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. Oh, okay. <laughs> my husband was killed. The father of my children. I, I, I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. Mm. Yeah, you didn't want to have him around, but you didn't want to live without him either. So how exactly did he die? How did he die? Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. 
So he was an Aldecaldo. I see. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Hmm. Well, maybe we should change the subject. <laughs> Let's, uh, change this subject. Well, actually, I don't really have anything else to talk about, so I guess I'm just going to go to sleep. <laughs> I won't be bothering you anymore. Okay, so apparently I'm just automatically teleporting to wherever v, I'm supposed wake up. to sleep. Oh, what the hell? Not done sleeping. <laughs> Can't you knock? The Owen called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD? Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. Okay. Watch recording. Okay, so we have the BD now and we can investigate it now. However, um, I feel that this might take a little bit longer. So maybe I'm going to Let's make move. a cut here. Let's go. And we will take a look at that BD in the next episode. For now, let's call it a day as always. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.